welcome to another edition of Terry Young Outdoors. Uh, I'm in the truck right now and I'm heading down to the Pinhoti Outdoor Center to do a, a seven day hike on the Pinhoti Trail. So I'm going to join two friends of mine, Keith with uh, Gone Feral with Squidly and uh, Casey, a friend of ours from uh, the Chattanooga area. I'm meeting them at the Pinhoti Outdoor Center and we're going to jump on trail in the morning and do close to a hundred miles uh, in seven days. Pretty rainy right now, but the rain's supposed to move out tonight and uh, it's supposed to be nice the rest of the trip. It's going to get cold towards the end of our trip, but uh, not too brutally cold. Uh, I think it's supposed to get down to 25 degrees. So please consider subscribing to my channel, Terry Young Outdoors. I get into all things hiking, backpacking, gear reviews, things like that. So let's get this seven day Pinhoti Trail partial through hike underway. I'll see you at the Pinhoti Outdoor Center. So we stripped out of our jackets because we're both swimming in sweat. This first section is no joke. I mean, it's, you come to Benhoti thinking that it's gonna be flat, man. It's, it's, it's by no means hard, but it's moderate, I would say. Wouldn't you say this first section is kind of moderate? Speak for yourself, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's up here no, he's up here saying Terry can you please speed up <laughs> nope. moderate is accurate. yeah it is definitely moderate all right so here we are at the end of section one. We just came out of the woods and we are at almost six miles. So Squid's highly disappointed. He wanted that cold Gatorade, but denied. to no avail, denied. denied. <laughs> So this is Caperton's Old South Store on the Pinhoti Trail, about six miles. All right, so we've finished the road walk and it ended up being about, about three and a half miles. So this is the new, this is the first new section on the Pinhoti after the first road walk. And this is Bones Valley. Uh, this is the Bones Valley section, I think is what they call it. So, all right, let's get back in the woods. We are at about probably 12 and a half, 13 miles. And there, there's been a ton of these little creek crossings like this. Now we did get, get a lot of rain yesterday, but you can imagine after a few days of rain, this would be, <laughs> this would be roaring. But yeah, on this first, on the first two sections, tons of water, tons of water. Okay, we are done with Terrapin Hill. Here comes Squid. That was rough, wasn't it? Huh? What'd you say the grade was on that, Squid? Nine point one percent. Nine point one percent grade. That was a tough climb. Yeah, yeah. But the good thing is, once you get to the top up here, one, there's a bench. Bench magic. <laughs> Bench magic. And two, should hopefully be a little cruisy now. But hey, oh, we're going to take advantage of the bench. That's right. A little bench magic. I'm probably going to regret this in a minute when I can't get up. Yeah, true. Oh, well. All right, guys. We made it back here to the uh, Pinhoti Outdoor Center. Uh, 
it was a long day. Um, almost 19 miles, and uh, we finished it off with a big climb up Terrapin Hill. So we're gonna go get something to eat and uh, get into our packs and move some stuff around. Maybe wash a few uh, pieces of clothing and uh, hit the hay. So, so thanks for joining me for day one, and we will see you in the morning. Welcome to day two of the uh, Penhody 100 mile hike. Uh, we are still here at the Penhody Outdoor Center. Stayed the night here last night, it was awesome. So Amelia's on her way to pick us up and she's gonna take us to the uh, new woods section. Uh, I think it's 26.5 miles and drop us off and we'll get started with a 17 mile day. Hopefully gonna make it to Bull Gap today and camp. Uh, so we just got dropped off by Amelia uh, at the uh, 26 mile mark, something like that. Uh, squid right there, ready to go. And that's Trip. Hey guys. And yeah, he's uh, he's ready to go also. So let's let's do this thing. Uh, oh boy, here we go again. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Captain. Let's make it happen. I don't know who Helen is, but she has her own field. But yeah, we're back on the road. Um, we were just talking about this. We're not 100% sure because we didn't look at the uh, far out, but I'm, I'm thinking it's somewhere about three miles, maybe a little less than three miles until we get back in the woods. And I believe when we get in the woods, that will, uh, that will put us close to Trammel Trailhead. And then we'll be in the woods for the rest of the day until we get to uh, Bull Gap. So yeah, just keeping you updated. We're just road walking right now. I do miss the uh, RV days. Okay, our uh, road walking is done for the morning, and I think that's all the road walking we're gonna have. So we are at Trammel Trailhead, and it looks like somebody stashed a water cache right there in case we needed it. Of course, we're good. We still got uh, plenty of water, and we didn't. Neither one of us drank a lot. So let's get on the trail at Trammel Trailhead. That's easy for me to say. That's where we're headed for the day. Bulls Gap, 11 miles, that's not bad at all. the top of Rebecca Mountain and as you can see you can see Silicaga off in the distance I'm gonna pan in all the white right in there this that's Silicaga so we're pretty high up not quite to the top but we're almost there
All right, lunch is over and we are ready to hit the trail. I think two hours of lunch. After, after I ate, I took two hours to eat lunch. Good grief. <laughs> and we're hoping that we find water down there. I did stash some water at Bull Gap on the way, but I don't want to have to walk another mile to get it and mile back. So we're going to search for water when we get there. All right, so we made it to White Gap. We are right at 40 miles from the start of uh, the Pinhoti Trail, Flag Mountain. This is White Gap. The trail? Water. Yeah, we're going to get water. Okay, so we just went down there to get water. You better want water really bad <laughs> to go down there and get it. <laughs> Keith, what was that? What was that hike down there to get water like? That was an eight point six on the suck meter. Yeah, because it was a steep climb down, and of course, and steep not coming out. Not good tough. footing either. No, right? not at all. It was that was tough to go get water. So, at the forty mile mark, White Scalp. If you need water, by all means, go get it. I mean, it's not it's not flowing great, but it's flowing. There's some water, so but you better want it because you're gonna have to work for it. So we uh, had a change of plans. We were gonna stay uh, up on top of a ridge and uh, so that's not gonna work out because there was absolutely no level spots. There was rocks everywhere. There's no way we got trekking pole tents. There's no way we could have made that work. So we just improvised. Uh, we found a spot and we just, you see we're kind of camped right next to each other. But uh, hey, you do what you gotta do when you're backpacking. So this is gonna wrap up uh, day two. We ended up getting 18 and a half miles. Yeah, tomorrow night we'll be uh, at the next step, ho next step hostel. So anyway, it was a good day. I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed. We're gonna make some food and uh, call it a night. Thanks for joining me and we will see you in the morning on day three.